So as it's National Mental Health Day, and I'm feeling like absolute crap, I thought maybe it would be a good idea to maybe talk about my mental illnesses and just explain how they affect me and that kind of thing. And maybe I'll feel better if I just kind of explain it. Because today has just been awful for me. So, I first got diagnosed with depression and anxiety my junior year, yeah, of undergrad. So, like, almost three years ago. But I, I knew that I've had it since I was a really, really, really young kid. I just didn't know what it was. I didn't know what to do for it. And it's, you know, kids have no idea what's going on. They just feel like they're freaks or that they shouldn't be feeling this way. So they don't tell anybody and that kind of thing. That's kind of what was going on. But I think freshman, sophomore year of undergrad was literally two of like the worst years that I've had so far not really because of like where I was or college or anything because I mean I made some awesome friends and I had really good times I just I don't know there was just something really really wrong so I finally went to the doctor got diagnosed um the first pill that they put me on to try was Prozac which I'm not going to recommend to literally anybody because I only took Prozac for like two months and it worsened everything like I was so suicidal on Prozac I was like what is this like this is supposed to be helping me and not be suicidal and it's making me like twice as suicidal so I went quickly went back to the uh, doctor and I was like this is not working for me like this is worse than what I even imagined (sighs) which is scary because (sighs) who knows like I could have attempted or completed suicide just because I was on a shitty pill which is just kind of crazy to think about but so I went back, they put me on Zoloft, or I, the generic brand of Zoloft is, you know, same thing. I can't think it's called Sertraline, yeah. And I've been on that ever since, so I've been on that for almost like two years. And it is, it's been amazing, like it's worked really well for me. But there are some days that even if I do take it, I feel really depressed. And really crappy. They don't happen a lot. Otherwise I would you know. Go get (laughs) a different medication. But. It's just going to be something. I'm going to struggle with. For the rest of my life. They will be. Crappy days. And I just have to. Accept that. You know. (sighs) So, I mean, today was just a really crappy day because I felt sick when I woke up. So, I decided not to go to class, which then made me kind of, like, freak out. And I was like, oh, my God, you know, I need to go to class. I should be there like this isn't okay like I was just kind of freaking out because I wasn't there but it's I just you know was freaking out that I wasn't going but I literally felt like I couldn't go because I didn't feel good and part of my depression at least is making me like really paranoid (laughs) making me think like the worst of pretty much any situation me overreacting, me just having a hard time with little setbacks, which is weird because if something huge and like crazy happens to me, 
sometimes I'll just be like, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> but then if something little happens, I'm like, holy shit, like I can't deal with it. So I'm, I mean, it varies. It doesn't really make any sense, but you know, that's my reality. So basically all I did was just like sleep all day, get um, some like medicine, go back to sleep. And I just felt so disappointed in myself. <sighs> but the thing is, if I have to take a day to, if I don't feel good, I shouldn't feel this crappy about it. I'm probably going to start crying because I've just had such a shitty day. I shouldn't feel that way, but my brain is pretty much just working against me at this point. <laughs> it feels like a constant struggle against myself. And these thoughts that are in my head. Sorry, I had to take a moment recompose myself <laughs> but anyways um sleep for me is a huge huge problem I usually don't sleep like at all at night I don't know why I just can't and lately I've been up literally all night until like 6 or 7 a.m and then I'll go to sleep and then I'll sleep during the day I mean, obviously that's not a normal sleep schedule, but it's just, my problems are like, with sleep are exemplified because of depression. I'm going to kind of explain my depression with kind of like a metaphor but the only way I can really think of describing it for me is that it's like a demon that is out of my body and keeps me from doing things that I should be doing it pulls me back it makes me kind of crazy sometimes it wants it's like it it there's a demon and it wants me to just sleep all day instead of doing things and accomplishing things because then I won't be successful and you know if that makes any sense I just feel like my depression is working so hard against me <laughs> and that can be really scary and really frightening like to be at war with your own self with your own brain I mean it's really hard but I'm still here <laughs> Um, it's worth the fight and it's worth you know going to the doctor and getting diagnosed and getting meds and then trying different meds and then I'm lucky like I only had to try two different meds but I know a lot of people have to try god literally every med that they have out there So I am lucky in that aspect, but it's never going to be easy. And I'm always going to struggle, but that's just part of who I am. And I kind of have to get used to it. <laughs> I also want to talk about my anxiety since I did bring that up. My anxiety, 
I like it a lot better than my depression. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like if I didn't have my anxiety, I would literally get nothing done. <laughs> because it's my anxiety that pulls me out of bed. That pulls me out of my funks. That makes me get shit done so that I don't feel anxious anymore. <laughs> if I'm feeling anxious that I didn't feel like I did anything that day, then... I'll do something and like I'll feel better. Um I mean it's useful in that aspect. It's like balancing me out at the same time. It's still struggle because I get really anxious easily like if I'm in a really really crowded place, I will like I can have panic attacks or I'll just start to freak out. And not know what to do with myself, really. I mean, that happens like a couple weeks ago. I was at Trader Joe's and it was so crowded, and people would not just give me personal space and would just like continuously like run into me and stuff. And I was like kind of freaking out. So I had to stop in the middle of one of the aisles and just like compose myself and just breathe so I didn't have like a full fledged panic attack. So that happened. And also, I'm just really paranoid. Like, I know I said that was depression, but I feel like my anxiety makes me so paranoid and so anxious that people are talking about me, are, like, working against me, uh, saying things that they aren't even saying that are, like, negative. Like, I'm just a very paranoid person because... Of both my mental illnesses, but I feel like a lot of it stems from the anxiety because, you know, social anxiety, environmental anxiety, that kind of thing. So, to be honest, some days I feel like an absolute freak. And, like, why the hell do I have to deal with this? Like, it's not fair. But that's how my life happened. <laughs> and I can't do anything about it. So I just have to roll with the punches. A lot of times I feel like I can't talk about it. Because mental illness is so stigmatized. That people are like afraid of it. And they don't want to talk. And they might make fun of you. You know, all that kind of thing. So, this is my attempt at sharing my story. To hopefully... <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> help other people. But also, I slowly want to help destigmatize mental illness. Because we're all just people. Some of our brains have different, you know, chemical balances. And we deal with it just like any other person would. So really, what I want to accomplish with this video besides crying <laughs> is just letting people know, you know, maybe people that are close to me that I haven't really shared this with, they can really kind of know more what's going on with me. Also, people I don't really know, if they watch this, they can feel like they're not alone if they have mental illness too. And I want anyone who is like, wow, like, maybe I have a mental illness, or oh yeah, that sounds like me too, if you want to message me personally, I will talk with you whatever. And I can help you as much as I can. But also wanted to share this just so people will see that people with mental illnesses are just people we all struggle with something everybody <laughs> and we're all just trying to make our way in this world and it's okay to have to deal with mental illness and it's okay to feel your feelings and 
you're not less of a person just because your brain is slightly different. So, for the National Mental Health Awareness Day. I... I'm not even fucking saying. <laughs> You're not alone. And I know I'm not alone. And even though sometimes I feel like I am. But we can do this. And we can get through it. I promise.